how child care for U.S. military families came to be among the best in the country. It now serves an estimated 200,000 children. The average service member spends about 9% of their income on child care. The average civilian spends 25%. Special correspondent Kavitha Cardoza with our partner Education Week traveled to North Carolina to see what the civilian sector can learn for our weekly series, Making the Grade. Discipline, strength, endurance, traits that define the Marine Corps. They're also known for babies. Marines do two things really, really, really well. They shoot their guns and they make a lot of babies. What's the next page say, Logan? At Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, Mala Tally oversees the child care centers. We usually see a great increase in our request for infant care nine months after a unit comes back from a deployment. Camp Lejeune is one of the country's largest Marine Corps installations, seven times the size of Manhattan. The Child Development Centers, or CDCs, can accommodate 1,800 children under the age of five. Everything that, that we do as Marines is linked with readiness. CDCs are, are a part of that. I won't Colonel Michael Scalise on. is deputy commander. When you think in terms of uh, a Marine that is focused, he's focused on training, he's focused on deploying, anything that, that, that he has to worry about from his family standpoint, whether that's his children or his spouse or her children or spouse, deviate from that Marine's ability to focus. I start my day at 0545 at the barracks, which means I have to drop Annabelle off at daycare no later than 530. Staff Sergeant Kathleen Hargrove is a single mother. I can't really use excuses to be late in the Marine Corps. That's not an acceptable answer. They expect you to be there when you're told to be. Across all branches of service, members of the U.S. military have about 2 million children, more than 40% of them under the age of 5. But childcare in the military hasn't always been this good. In the 70s, the military childcare system was really a system in crisis. Um, there were very few inspections done of the program, so even basic safety and health wasn't protected. Deborah Phillips is a professor of psychology at Georgetown University. The child care teachers in the military child care centers were paid on a par with the garbage collectors in the military system. The dismal state of child care led to congressional hearings and eventually the child care budget increased 62 percent. Barbara Thompson recently retired from the Pentagon as Director of Military Family Readiness. That was um, earth-shattering, I would say, for, for those of us in the military child development system. It gave us the opportunity to hire training and curriculum specialists. It provided federal dollars so that the cost of care would be subsidized by the federal government. People have referred to what happened with military child care as a Cinderella story because you had the system going from a system in crisis to a model for the nation in under five years. Federal subsidies meant more teachers were hired, they were more qualified, and they were paid better. It's no surprise then, 97% of military centers are independently certified as high quality, compared to less than 10% of civilian centers. This is a loft, and I absolutely love these. Unlike many civilian centers where the focus is primarily on health and safety, the military goes one step further. We're in the business of building brains. It looks like the children are doing nothing but playing, and that couldn't be further from the truth. The, the activities they have are all designed to promote some portion of that child's growth and development. Even infants have lesson plans. You want some bubbles? We like to watch the bubbles. It helps us work on our focusing and tracking skills and learning that things are here one moment and they're gone the next. Educators use every chance to teach, even during meal times. By pouring, that's measuring. They're learning how much milk. Sometimes they'll say it's full or it's half, so they're learning math. Because teachers are paid about a third more than their civilian counterparts, there's very little turnover. The military pays for all their training. This childcare system also focuses on the unique needs of military children. I know, I'll be back later, it's all right. This is an age where children are forming and solidifying parental attachments. So when a mother or father leaves for extended periods of time, it can be very upsetting. This is where mommies or daddies may leave 
and go far, far away. Most children here have had parents who've deployed more than once. Now, when your mommies and daddies go away, are you sad? A lot of kids will come back and say, Dad don't want to talk. You know, Dad, um, Dad is not home yet. Each classroom has a safe space, and teachers help children identify emotions, breathing techniques, and how to ask for help. For a lot of young children, the child care facility that they go to, um, especially here, becomes the one stable thing in their life during that period of time. They can come in here and they can forget that mom and dad are deployed or that things are a little topsy-turvy at home because when I come here, my same friends are going to be here, my teachers are going to be here, I have a routine, and that's really crucial then because those children can take that security back home with them. You ready? Gunnery Sergeant Craig Skinner and Master Sergeant Bergen Skinner, who have three children in this child care centre, say they see evidence every day that their children are learning. About a week ago, Preston came in and he actually just wrote his name down. We were doing something and he started spelling his name and we're like, oh, okay, so you actually know how to do this. They actually help potty train my children. These Marines say child care centres give them the assurance that their children are safe and loved an assurance most civilian parents have a harder time finding. We both work really long hours, and it, I can't explain the feeling that I get when I go pick up my children and they run to me because they're happy because they had such a great day. They love being there. There's only four targets out here, four, four individuals. Make sense? Yes, Sergeant. Cool. For Marines and other service members, this peace of mind means more than being just a satisfied parent. It means they can concentrate on their mission wherever it may take them. I'm Kavita Cardoza of Education Week for the PBS NewsHour.